Yes, okay. Welcome, welcome. Sanbunan in Dambama, welcome. We're going to wait for Abba a few for like two minutes and then it gets started. So I want to know, see, Paul. Hello. Okay, if we if we are engaged on. Hello, you. leader. Yeah, Unja. Hello, leaders. How are you? I'm Mia good. Pila leaders on a Monday. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we are trying to concentrate to buy and build a one mind. Hello, oh, leader, you can't let a big at the ego pending. Okay, so I'm going to be valid. I'm going to be valid. Oh, site the need a eh? Yeah. Euro USD. Eh, Euro USD. Is that what value the money? Oh, so value Euro USD. Eh, I can't let that you pending on a a a loan. Is that the money? Eh, you Euro. Eh, USD JPY, you know. USD JPY, I'm saying it value. Hey, I put two, right? I put like the. I be saying I put lost a cool. Ah, guys, no be a thing. I want to get to a few years to check you out, boss. Yeah. Just having a yagi lead. Yeah, cause yes, I'm and we call it the Yaku over. I want to go seventeen twelve. We got cool and a cool over, and I think we really used the. It's. It's nice as a cool for a while, no? but I am uh, but uh, okay. I'm gonna do a recording and it's an unsigned. I'll just go through it just while in the other one, you know? Okay, okay, okay. Since I it top down and under the system, okay. okay. All right, okay. So, mute time. It's only me and you, yeah. I'm gonna be able to join, I think maybe network or something, you know. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Good evening. Yes. Okay. So, Namisha and you, just a cool man. I basically it's gonna be something I call it the top down analysis. Okay. So, a top down analysis basically let's just go over a slide. Can you just give you a little bit of introduction? So, among about traders, at least you must understand what it means by the trend. We must also have a bit of understanding on a candlestick pattern. We would see in a candlestick patterns. Also, you must have understanding of what we mean by his support and resistance. And also, you must understand in the supply and demand. Obviously, you must treat the trading like a business. You must focus on improving this case set cycle. And then in Mali, you will follow afterwards. Okay. So when you're focusing on improving your skill set, then obviously after some time you definitely make money and accept all responsibility make sure because when you place a trade accept that you are taking a risk and that risk can be a profitable risk or you can be taking a loss okay you must also refine and improve you know refine and improve is very important with Mangabu trader always be improving your strategy always be improving even my habits yeah, well, and you must also remain a bit disciplined enough. You will have to discipline Mangabu <clears throat> trader. So, so always make sure you've got it disciplined to so make sure you're focusing on the training plan. You are able to execute some trade. Yeah? And then obviously, and then the, another thing, I'm you know, so a daily routine as a trader. Daily routine is in those ends on a daily basis as a trader. I always emphasize, you see, you must check ama ama news or economic calendar. So we will check a local. I've got ama websites. I will too. Let me just write them down. Come on, come on, leave your bono. I was sending a local. They think I'm a bit confused. It's okay. The reason I'm saying you must check this is because it's what the market makers use or ama bank use to move the market. So ama websites. So I will check as forex factory. So you can check that out for I think for 
or you can use investing.com. Okay, it's an investor. Or, okay, Nancy is coming in. It's good. Or investing.com. Okay. So those are two websites. Basically, the reason I'm saying is to check that out is because when you check our economic calendar, they give you what's okay right now. That's going to be is in Daba that is going to be affecting the dollar or the mama or Canadian dollar. And then you know what's around that time is going to be a very big move as well as like around the dollar or around the Canadian dollar. Or maybe if you're checking half a swag saying in data 2 a.m., you know I'm a move as well as like AUD or NZD. And then next thing, obviously, is going to be pound, which is the GDP, also in the euro. So that's very important also to check it before because there's in that, but sometimes if Imagate is a cook on the day, you will find it, uh, those news will basically push the market to show your pants and will drop to pick up my orders. Also, convince traders that the market is actually going down. So they start selling. When they start st selling, and then the bank traders or the market makers start buying from the traders that are actually selling. So that is a, that is, that's the reason why I always emphasize because you must always check economic calendar before you go to your technical, okay? And then what is important, once you've done your analysis, obviously, you should always wait for your market activity before you set up and then focus what you can control. What you can control is basically your lot size, it's your entry, it's your exit. Yeah, well, I always emphasize this. So it's always for the lot size, that is good for your trading account. It was on a card later on, which I've made a big loss. The big loss comes when you use a bigger lot size. And also when you put the stop loss very fast, always calculate a risk to reward ratio. Yeah? So understand with it. Mangabu trade by level is to make sure you are in profitable all the time. So make sure you are aware of it. And all, all, always, always, always improve. What is important is keep a journal. I'm gonna set up how we need and I lose the ones of focus up who are profitable all the time with you for the one and then always see this always continuous learning and always read books and make sure you focus on your time go to the rise okay but each class and I'm saying is basically we're gonna be talking about is top down analysis about but what happens with the top down analysis is the let you see, let's try this. Let's, let's go over a whiteboard. <coughs> whiteboard. Okay, let's draw. Let's draw that. So, what happens? We talk down and let's see. Fine, let's see. Let's say you see now on the higher time frame, the line you have. So, let's take this as. Okay. And then you find the good la, you now have this thing. This is a bearish and thing. So, in my we are figuring out drop on it. Must drop And then, must it go? Yeah, it's like it's like it's like it. Must figure la, then you watch this is cut. Okay. Yeah, but it's okay. Fine. You drop it, la. And then when they come back to this level, and then you watch, you, you simply focus on that level, so So meaning, you might say, on the higher time frame, then you go on the lower time frame and check how it's in that. Just to give a bit of an example, because I'm sure let me tell I am with it. So a lot of people are a bit confusing. Let's go over to each chart, yeah, well. So just explain more or less the chart, yeah, well. And it's a one of the monthly, corner weekly, corner daily. These are my time frame. I come to this out what sort of time frame. So when you say monthly, we mean, let's make sure that I'm showing you that thing. So when you say monthly, we mean we are looking at one candle. So each candle, it can be early, normally it can be early, monthly. Limele Utili for Mege after Inya. So as you can see, I just show you this. So, Masiti monthly, you're just gonna zoom in. 
So this means one candle per month, another candle. So this is three months, this is number four. So I want to say, okay, this month, there was this candle in formula the whole month. You can see, you see, Euro USD was going up and then after it's been dropping. As you can see, you would see, Euro USD since when, which is, check this out, since, oh, the Euro USD has been dropping. Maybe the little downtrend in Euro USD. And then you go over to weekly level. The reason for a, a top down analysis is, is for you who told I entry a right. And number two is also was who check out was okay. Where am I going to put my stop loss or my take profit? Level? And also, a young sees the hard time from born in the direction. As you can see, I want to see for more check out which you can see with you know, a normal. It is like. Um, on the downtrend, well, it's been on the downtrend. Okay, it has been on the downtrend. So even if you you see above, as you can see that, so you can see with euro USD from this level, it has been dropping, dropping forever. I will tell my figure along the level which is a couple and a drop. Okay? If you go on monthly, you can see that it's been on the lowest it's ever been before. So now we're just gonna do that. So you can see it's been on a downtrend and then let's do weekly. You can see this weekly it started giving us the Makandi Lalawa. Or it's what Funai or this analyze the boys started to give us a candles are coming. So this is actually <coughs> started to change a bit of a direction. So let's go daily. And you can see the daily as now as really giving us you know it's giving us a pink bar. So let's go for hour. You can see for hour. Oh no, it's nice. I can just move on for hour. You can see okay now. At least there's some bit of hope with the material is the as like material and it's even we will reverse our Italian cuckoo ever because it's basically in the lowest low that it's ever been before. Okay. Okay, let's go over to which one, as you can see. Okay. So now we are on each one. So the reason we use it, we, we drop them down from hard time frame, smaller time frame. Is because you want to see it direction. You, know? you can see with some of my evil, I will drop. I'm going to use the control Y. I was to see, okay, it drop and then yeah, it's going to so my evil are very better. And you can see it's now I'm a candle on the lowest end of time. You can see our lowest. So this is the lowest it's ever been. And this is a low of the week on the Monday. I will create a low on the Monday. You know? So now, uh, it's Monday. If we zoom out, you want to see okay, one Friday, Thursday, all the previous day. I want to see okay, you has been dropping non stop. When I low, most of the high on the past couple of days, this was their high, and the second high is this one. So we can mark that the way. On the viewers, can mark that as our supply level. Okay, and then this was so this year is our low, and then so this is our second half. So, okay. More this is okay. This is a high, the low, and then this is a lower that is higher than that. Then. Okay, so let me just mark those as mine. And so this as my demand. So I'm gonna mark that. 
So this is basically my eyes zone. You know, with the magnets, obviously, can go lower than this. So we just mark on that up. We just use Control Y again to so remove everything. We use the right click here. Okay. So much of the time, Mangabu analyzer, but like Lucifer, was the magnet in the ANZ Yachida to any level. I was general in it, you say, the magnet can never okay. You can see, okay, is because of that thing in the Gala Pan, so Gala Pan, because of that. Some Amazon are an Amma reaction, okay. In his magazine, Gala level, okay, and you like, okay, is because of that, so I understand, okay, so Gala. So these are my level that you want to know. So now you will get my candles in those zones that are going to be your confirmation for entry. Okay, which is zooming. This is a drop. This is basically a low, which is right here. Sometimes <laughs> So I hope this is making a bit more sense than would say a cars and I think or advanced. I hope even the uh, lower low. Okay. Just so now we've got this lower low, and then we've got that low. Okay, remember what we said. This is zoom out, Sacheka any Sacheka Lapan. It's okay. This was our point of reference. Okay, this is my say in at the end. So if we zoom in again, so now we're going to zoom in. So zoom in on this point. So, uh, okay, okay. Okay, now if you look in at that point, you'll see, okay. The best, obviously, who buy your best was at this candle, my figure candle. This was the best buy, obviously, but the market is more really, of which you can actually come back to that level. So this was the first buy, and also that level over there. So that's where we're getting our sniper entries. But understand that when you do a top down analysis, you want to get number one. When you obviously when you're putting a stop loss, it's very important to stop loss cycle. If this is a low and you are buying, obviously it must be below this level. It can be 20 pips below this level, or it can be so stop loss, it must go below this level. level. So this is basically your whole zone, and from there to there is about 25 pips. Level. So before further stop loss. Uh, always calculate first the loss side check. So if I'm using a 0 0.1 stop loss, this is going to be uh, basically over $25. Hey, boy, can you handle it? Oh, $25? If not, maybe you want to lose 12.5 US dollars, then you must use, <coughs> excuse me, with 0 0.05. Okay. So now, Okay, you're like, okay, maybe that's going to be my target. Maybe it's going to be this level. That's going to be my target. So now you go to M30. You're like, okay, maybe Imamento will come back and to this level over here. Okay. So if you're buying here, obviously, your another target is this level here. The reason I'm saying that level is because of this thing. Like, okay. If you zoom in, you'll see. So zooming in, meaning we are checking. When you can see this was a break of structure, breaking this level, dropping the figure line on the zero. So my figure line price, and then there was this obvious opening today coming back here. And you can see a pattern even here, when you think, we are born at a pattern of the tower. This market, I can't move that much because it's been basically consolidating, it's not moving much, but obviously the perfect entry is this one over here. And you can see it can't get any corner upon it, this candle over here. So this candle plan. So one candle, you can see the hammer there. You can see this, uh, this rally, base rally candle in the So it's like your decision point candle for entry for 
uh, contribution is you know let's buy to that level so if you're looking at that from this level to that level as over 120 pips but now your stop loss is roughly like 25 pips so if you're risking now if you talk about the rr we're talking about it now see you see we are risking how many let's say 25 for one 25 pips so that's basically our risk to our ratio so risking one how many 25 are there in 125 is basically five. So our risk to one ratio is, uh, let me just write it down, because that is very important, is one to five, okay? That's basically our risk to reward ratio. Okay, if we are taking an entry here, that's why if you're getting a perfect entry here, and obviously sometimes the market doesn't, Obviously, if you use a pen and order on this level, that means you're getting that perfect entry on that level, okay? Okay, and then let's just move on to another pair. So we can do another pair in terms of uh, total analysis again. Another pair, we um, do want to check out GDPUSD. GDPUSD, I think we've talked about this pair. Obviously, we like to mention that it's actually went on the lowest and low in terms of weekly time frame. So this is basically lowest, as you can see there. It's a lowest, it's now weekly, weekly low. So weekly low, meaning as remember, these candlesticks on the weekly time frame, they represent a week. That means that week, the GDP used to was going down. That week also. So three weeks in a row, it's been dropping and come back, retested this level. And it's been continuously going down. But now you expect the market to, because see that structure. Come back, broke a level, come back, and then continue dropping to that weekly low, OK? So now, if we mark the level, the next level, which was a bit higher, is that level over there. Okay, can you see that? That's the next level of the high from that low. That's the next low. Okay, I'm just gonna focus on that. So I expect the reaction on that low, the market just at least falling up, going up. So if you go on daily, you can see still a small portion. So even that, even that thing that is going on, if you zoom in, you can see that is basically a setup. What kind of a setup? The market break a level. Obviously, expected to go to that level again and retest before. If it's gonna drop even further, if not, sometimes it's just do what we call a double bottom, and then you just continue going up. Okay, you may do that. Okay, but it should retest that level. As you can see, even on daily time frame. If you zoom in, you'll see that candle. When the market breaks a level, break out a level, it leaves these candles. So these candles are like your base, okay? Let's go to H4, and you can see on H4 again, it's holding up these candles, which is basically like giving us at least hope that this market is basically going to push up. So now we are on H4, okay? H4 again, we we like expecting market to go over there in that level. So retesting this page, so we, call, we can mark that as a red. Let me mark that as, as resistance. So let me mark that as a one, okay? So what are we expecting? Expecting the market to come here and form R2, okay? So R2, so that traders won't stop again uh, selling in that level. Okay. okay, but now because of this candle, it's you not know, hectic. So let's go again to H1. The market is still pulling up orders. But now we need to remove everything. Because we are on it. Okay. Okay. So now, Imagate and Zelen. See this here. 
this is basically a drop one two three drop and then from this obviously this was another when the market was dropping and retraced to that level over there and then continue with the drop so this year now is another level of support okay there are a lot of orders that are built up here. So what you expect, expect the market obviously to react to that level and then basically make it drop. Before the market can go further up, there's a need of building up of orders in there of people that are gonna be what? Convinced that they need to solve this market, okay? They need to solve this market. So you cannot, most of the time when the market is gonna move up, heavily there needs to be a people a lot of people that are convinced that this market is gonna go down before it can start as you can see uh this market is moving toward that level in the form of what compression see that it's not moving in a straight line like these drops as you can see i will have drop now those are a straight drop this was a straight drop, but you must, must figure out the level here, Kalaman, you move up sideways, then the drop, and then start moving up, coming back, and then you must figure out the level there, which is what I call level of the support. Level of the support, I mean, you see, that this is, okay, my BC pre level obviously is now becoming a ceiling because it's need to cross that ceiling over. But before it dropped, this was what support, this was the floor. So this was the floor, which is used in the I'm gonna use a word of the floor. Uh, floor is equal to support. So we just gonna talk basics in advance. And now, when once the level, you might to see drop in there, they break out to the downside. Now we're gonna call that level in the ceiling, which is equal to E, e resistance. Okay. So now this is ceiling. Okay. So now imagine before it break a ceiling to the upside, first it needs to hold my orders of people that are gonna be selling. Okay. Reason being, you cannot buy big unless you've got a lot of people that are selling big, okay? That's basically how the market works, supply and demand. So the, before the market breaks this level, there need to be a lot of orders of people that are convinced that this market is actually gonna drop. So when it does make that drop, obviously, what do you expect? We expect the market we expect markets to drop before we can actually buy big. And when you buy big, obviously our target for a tech profit, we need to use what? Higher time frame again. So our targets, we set them using higher time frame. Okay, so this is about it. So now let's say, for instance here, you can see, so this is a bullish analysis. This is our level of where you want to buy this. Reason you wanna buy there is because this year there's not a strong momentum that convinces us. You know a lot of people have actually sold because Babonel and the I want to give a because they saw that they will suck if they see an aggressive move dropping. That aggressive move dropping is our signal for us. Okay, let's wait until the market goes to that level and it will actually go up. Okay, so let's go to the high time frame. So obviously, as you can see, the market has been moving. Uh, it's been basically not moving aggressive <laughs> for some time. Okay, so our take profits obviously here is going to be at this level. So that's going to be our take profits here. This is going to be our take profits, this level looking at H4. So this is basically our 
save profit if I'm buying, but before I buy, I need to see a huge movement dropping down. So now, uh, let's just zoom out. So from there, it's about how many? 26 pips. So now we put a stop loss Lana, here below that low. Okay, stop loss is going to be there. But I will take profit from that level to that level that's close to 300 pips. So that's like risking, let's say about $30, but you wanna get $300, okay? So that's basically how it works in terms of risk to reward ratio, okay? So we're risking 80 pips, $30, cause you wanna gain 300. So that is one is to 10, okay? So that's basically our risk. And this is a reward. Okay. <clears throat> it's basically one. Oh, it's, it's, it's one so high. Yeah, yeah. 30 goes to 300. 10 times. Yeah, 10 times. Yeah. It's basically one is to 10. So we can risk here. So the best way, obviously, if you feel you might miss this trade, is use pending orders. Okay. So we're gonna use, okay, this candle, you can use a shadow of this candle as your entry, if you're using a pending order. So pending order is more likely to you can use here as what we call buy limit, okay? So this level is also good for an entry. Just read it over here so I can confuse. So this candle is good. This level is also good for your entry. This level, but you want to see an aggressive move. This move from there to there. Yes, so this is good. So this is good move. So I think I like that. So chances are during the session of the Asian session, more likely to see the pound going up and then dropping to that level over there. When it dropped, it's basically convincing traders to start selling. The reason they're gonna sell, obviously, is because this is a level of what? Of a support. This was once a, a flow, is now becoming what? Selling, so basically drop. See, now what you wanna do, you wanna buy because the market is reach what a low in there weekly time frame. So this is basically a weekly low. So that's basically why um, say I'm looking to buy the pound heavy and holding it to make maximum profits on it, okay? So yeah, so we're we looking at making about 300 pips on the pound. Right now. Let's look for our last one pair. Okay, another thing is if you've got any question, maybe you're holding a pair, you want us to take a look at that pair, you can write on the chat box about that pair and then you can check it out to see. Would you? Leo pair, yens are me right now. As you can see, even the even USD JPY is not moved that much. So not much movement has been made by liquidity. So expectation, obviously, the dollars go there and then continue dropping. As you can see, on even on weekly, it's created a new high. So a new high means if you want to buy, it must come back here for bankers to buy more of it. And if you look at that, if you see, this is weekly. This is weekly. So now if you go H4, you can see if you if you're selling that, your targets maybe need to be here. So this is basically the previous level that's gonna be your 137453 is your target. If you go in H1, you can see the movement here. So this is a high, and then this is the next high. So that's basically your target in terms of your selling point. Okay. And then if you go H4, you can see that's the level. And then you can go into thing. And then obviously, smaller time frame is where you set your stop loss, higher time frame is where you set your take profits. Okay. And then 
Let's look at another pair. Oh, I, wanted, I, wanted, I wanted to look, I think DSP cat has another pair that I think I did share the numbers in this pair that it would nice more runners. I think these are DSP cat daily and then make that touch daily. This is the next low. The market came back. Okay, let's go to each one. See. H1. Okay. I think this job, I think I did analysis on this. We need that job, and it's not so many tips. Okay. Even here, I'm expecting this to drop. Yes, 30 pips is good, but it's still slow. So what I want to see is, is I want to see the USB cat up there. It can go as far as doing this. Okay, yes. And then obviously that drop, okay? But another thing is you can see this now as in the pattern of its own. So, but you want to see this movement going up there and then retesting. You want to see the reaction on that level, what it's going to do. This is page one. And then obviously you want to zoom in to M50 just to get that sniper entrance. You can see this level came back, drop to this level, and you can see it clearly now. It's okay. It's okay. So like I keep saying this, You'll find with the stop loss here, you said it's going to be how many pips? Okay, 10 pips. From the entry, if you're buying this now, see, about 20 pips. But if that's your target, it's about 50 pips. So risking 20 pips to gain 50 pips. Okay. And, and, and I'm still not convinced because this is like very, like, this is like very, not so aggressive movement, it's still like moving side with not much. It's been this, this, the reason I'm saying this is gonna be a drop, even technically you can see this here. When I see this kind of movement, I know it's okay. This yeah, let's support one. Huh? Market is still gonna drop below that level. You can see this, I know the market's always drop. Below that level, and if you go down below that level, you'll see this. Yeah. Okay. If you understand price action, you will get a little bit. This is like a nice QMR from here. Now, this will become massive the light price is better than I came to. Another buy. Let's go H4 and C. Yes, and it does correspond with H4. So one, two, and you can see if this was institution actually buying and it's gonna go to that level. And this is where it's putting the buy. And it does correspond with this kind of you can see this was a big bullish movement to the upside. So and that's basically how you analyze from higher time frame, from the weekly time frame. You go down to the daily, expect the market to go there, and then you, you pull it down to H4, and then H1. Okay, if you still see this market is falling up, so it's definitely going to go there. And then from there, if you take this and this level, and you see that, it's about 100 and 70 pips okay but that movement if you are buying now it's going to be yeah 50 pips so if, if you check on this trade is 0 0.05 it's going to be 25 dollars close and then 0 0.10 is about 50 dollars okay and once it 